We started this trip with two cases of water and five cases of beer. Guess which one there's a case and a half of left. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy and uh, we're in Canada. It's our last day, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I had one of the best days of topwater fishing yesterday. So there will be a video of that that you can watch. I'll link it up here so you can check that out. But today, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna bop around rocks, weeds maybe, and just see what we can find. Um, hopefully there's there's something happening out there hate to go out without boating at least one more fish on this trip so the goal is to at least get one hopefully more than that but that's up to the fish mostly so with that I don't have much more to say because I'm extremely tired and worn out from this week of musky fishing although I've had an absolute blast uh, we've been staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge you should check them out it's a lovely little place to stay all right, time to fish. Let's catch a muskie. Big fish, Jim. She took off. I tried getting the bait down in front of her. Whew, that was a dandy. Gosh darn it, just need to get one of these things to go. All right, folks, I'm gonna start out by throwing a regular Medusa. This is an old, old one that I got back when Rick first bought Chaos and we were playing with colors. I don't even know what this is called, but uh, it's kind of a cool perchy color. And I'm throwing it on a nine foot shock and awe. 2020 with a 500 HG Tranks, the only way to throw rubber as far as I'm concerned. And then Jim is throwing, I'll take a take a little peek at your the star star bait there, Jim. A 6.75 Eagle colored Custom X Mini on a 9.6 SWAT with a 400 Tranks. So that's the equipment that is hopefully going to get it done this afternoon for us. Fish. Feels good, Jim. What? Feels pretty good. Oh no, oh no. It's all right, just leave him in there. Okay, here we go. Swim right in. There we go. Whew. That bait hardly hit the water and that fish was on. <laughs> hardly hit the water, I thought. I didn't know what, the, what in the world was going on with it, quite honestly. All right, get rid of our couple of baits from our bait box here. Decided to go along for the ride. And just a tip, if that ever happens, just net the fish and deal with it later. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. All right, I don't think it's a giant, it's not, but it is a dandy, a dandy muskie to start out the afternoon with. All right. Well, after seeing some fish in this area this morning, we came back and converted one. And it looks like another nice low 
maybe a mid 40s, I don't know. Find out in short order here. Ah. Ah. She's not as long as I thought she was, but just another beautiful Eagle Lake fish on a Medusa this time. So that's kind of fun. She's got herself a little bit of a scar there. Come on, baby. How big are you? I overestimated that greatly. 41 and a half, boy. She looked bigger when I was fighting her back in the water, I guess. All right. One last look at her. Beautiful fish. Fun way to start the afternoon. She wants to go. And there she goes. Man, that middle finger is taking a beating this week. That's all right. All right, well, we've got plenty of time to hopefully do that again. So uh, I guess let's do it. Fish. No, 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 no. God, I saw it out there. It looked like a decent fish. I don't think it was, I mean, it was, it was a musky. It was just there. Oh. Dang it. God, that felt good. Shoot. Got a fish behind it. Got a fish behind it. Had a fish behind it. <laughs> God darn it. it. The tail was waking out of the water even. Why it gave up on it, I will not know. <gasps> It's all right, it's all right, he's keeping it a little loose. He's... <gasps> Shoot. I never really did get a good snap on it. Oh, that was probably the one that was, because it, it, I, I, it was tailing my bait and all of a sudden it just took off. I'm like, where'd it go? That was a decent one. That's the first one I've lost. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was I was looking at my bait going, Jesus, I got a pretty good weight going here. And then it was just gone. And about the time I said that, it hit your bait. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh. Man. <laughs> we can't catch a break right now. <laughs> might have been. He might have bumped it. Yeah, he made up ground pretty quick. Are you kidding me? Gosh, that was a nice fish. Yeah, did you see her at all? That was a freaking dandy. God dang it. Oof. Darn it. Fish. Oh, it's a giant pike. It is a giant pike. 
Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that is a big girl. That is a big girl. That one's worth putting in a net. All right, get the camera. I'll get the board. I'll get it. All right, let's get you unhooked. Mission accomplished there. And let's not hook me. All right, well, just had a nice musky come in. And a couple casts later, this thing hit, and I was really hoping it was the muskie, but it is what looks to be a trophy pike in that upper 30, 40-inch class. Oh, look at that guy. That is a beautiful, big, eagle-like pike. Let's see, you going hit to the, hit the magic mark, girl? Oh, she does. Look at that, that is a 41, 41 inch Northern Pike. That is a trophy class fish right there, guys. Very cool, hanging out on the same spine as that muskie we just raised. So we're gonna get her back and see if we can go back and get the muskie to hit, maybe. That would be cool if we could pull that off. Ah, look at the gut on her. All right, girl. There she goes. Whew. All right, well, not exactly what we were going for, but anytime you can crack the 40 inch mark on a Northern Pike, I will take it. At least we got one. We got, what, 41 and a half that I grossly overestimated. <laughs> I usually try to go under, but uh, missed this one a little bit. And then a nice 41 inch trophy pike. Saw a ton of fish. I mean, I lost at least two fish on Medusas. Jim had a couple nipping at bucktails that just barely got lip hooked and came off after a little fight. Saw a ton of fish today. So uh, a great last day. Could have been better, but <coughs> could have been a whole lot worse too. So can't complain too much. The trip as a whole, I think I got nine. Jim had five. Um, and probably lost just as many fish along the way saw some big ones so uh can't complain about a trip like this we were staying at cold groves eagle lake lodge if you need a place to stay up here they're lovely people and it is a nice little place to stay i will put their uh, particulars in the description below other than that we gotta go back pack up and a uh, long 12-hour drive home tomorrow so i'm gonna wrap it up <coughs> and I don't know what I'm doing next. I usually try to say, oh, we got something going on. No idea, but we'll go fishing somewhere. So be looking for that. And with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.